In this video, we'll teach you 30 of the most commonly used IR Spanish verbs. Let's get to it! When learning Spanish, you want to prioritize learning the verbs that you'll need most often. We've got you covered. In this video, you'll learn 30 of the most common IR verbs. As the name suggests, IR verbs are simply verbs that end in IR. We'll go over 15 regular and 15 irregular IR verbs conjugated in the simple present tense. If your goal is to speak Spanish, then make sure to check out Baselang.com. With Baselang, you can get access to unlimited one-on-one -on -one Spanish classes via Zoom with native speaking teachers. All right, let's jump into the IR verbs. 15 regular IR verbs. First, we'll look at the 15 most common regular IR verbs. All of these verbs follow the standard rules of simple present tense conjugation. For more on how to conjugate verbs in this tense, check out our article in the description below. Number one, vivir, to live. Yo vivo en un país hermoso, which means I live in a beautiful country. Number two, escribir, to write. Ana escribe un artículo para la revista means Ana writes an article for the magazine. Number three, recibir, to receive. Nosotros recibimos el correo en la oficina, which means we receive the email at the office. Número cuatro, descubrir, to discover. Nosotros descubrimos una canción nueva cada día, which means we discover a new song every day. Número cinco, existir, to exist. Esa palabra no existe, which means that word does not exist. Número seis, describir, to describe. Ella describe el personaje con precisión, which means she describes the character accurately. Number seven, abrir, to open. La tienda abre todos los días de la semana, which means the store opens every day of the week. Number eight, admitir, to admit. La universidad admite estudiantes cada semestre, means the university admits students every semester. Number nine, unir, to join. Yo me uno a la banda el próximo mes. I'll join the band next month. Número diez, subir, to go up. El carro sube por la colina, which means the car goes up the hill. Number eleven, permitir, to allow. El profesor no permite hacer trampa en el examen, which means the teacher does not allow cheating in the exam. Número 12. Compartir. To share. Ustedes comparten la comida en la oficina, which means you share the food in the office. Número 13. Cubrir. To cover. Jorge cubre a su hijo con una manta, which means Jorge covers his son with a blanket. Number 14. Dividir. To divide. Ella divide el pastel para todos, which means she divides the cake for everyone. And number 15, confundir, to confuse. Yo confundo las palabras fácilmente, which means I confuse the words easily. Keeping up? Okay, great. Since you've made it this far, now would be a great time to hit that subscribe button to get more free Spanish lessons. Now that you've got a hang of the regular IR verbs, let's learn some irregular IR verbs. 15 irregular IR verbs. Now, as a refresher, irregular verbs are verbs that have their own conjugation rules. Check out our article in the description below for more on verb conjugation and be sure to pay attention to how the verb changes in each example sentence. Numero uno, ir, to go. Diego y María van a la iglesia todos los domingos, which means Diego and María go to church every Sunday. Number two, pedir. To ask. Ella pide ayuda para terminar el trabajo, which means she asks for help to finish the job. Número tres, reír. To laugh. Nosotros reímos contando historias graciosas, which means we laugh telling funny stories. Number four, venir. To come. Mañana no vengo a la oficina, which means I'm not coming to the office tomorrow. Number five, sentir. To feel. Me siento feliz por ti, which means I feel happy for you. Número seis, dormir, to sleep. Ustedes duermen en la otra habitación, which means you sleep in the other room. Number seven, oír, to hear. No oigo nada, sube el volumen, means I do not hear a thing, turn up the volume. Number eight, mentir, 
to lie. Él no miente. Eso fue lo que pasó. He does not lie. That's what happened. Number nine, repetir. To repeat. Si repetimos el examen, podemos aprobar, which means if we repeat the exam, we can pass. Number 10, construir, to build. Él construye su casa, which means he builds his house. Number 11, invertir, to invest or to invert. Yo invierto en un nuevo negocio, which means I invest in a new business. Number 12, medir, to measure. La habitación mide casi dos metros, which means the room measures almost five meters. Number 13, seguir, to follow. Yo te sigo, ve tú adelante, which means I'll follow you, go ahead. Number 14, servir, to serve. El mesero sirve las cervezas, which means the waiter serves the beers. And number 15, morir, to die. La planta muere si no le colocas agua, which means the plant dies if you do not put water on it. And that's it. You now know the 30 most common IR verbs in Spanish. Study these 30 and you'll be well on your way to mastering conversational Spanish. If you want to test your knowledge with a quiz and find a full list of the verbs, check out the link in the description below. To master these verbs and take your Spanish to the next level, schedule your first class with a Baseling teacher today. At Baseling.com, you get access to unlimited one-on-one -on -one Spanish classes with native speaking teachers all via Zoom. Try your first week for only $1. For another great lesson on Spanish vocabulary, check out our other video that teaches you the 44 AR verbs. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you in the next lesson.